The Z9 with the 402.8 strikes again. I love that thing. Steve, I'm back. It's been a while since I made a video. August, to be specific, and it's now November. Uh, I've just had a lot going on, too much. I had a busy, work busy workshop season, so I was out with clients all the time, um, and a lot going on personal life. Uh, kids are living with me now full time. Got them in school and giving them uh, the attention that they need um, at the current time. <laughs> and uh, haven't been out doing much photography. Uh, the last uh, two weeks, I've been out of town and trying to get caught up on life and stuff. So uh, I'm out this afternoon. I've got two hours of daylight. And uh, I'm just out for a short drive, maybe a short walk. We'll see. Uh, just to see what's going on and, and try and get back in the mindset of photography and uh, pick up the camera and make sure my muscles all work properly and this muscle works properly and all that stuff. So uh, I don't have um, much expectation for this afternoon. Uh, two hours, it's like 40 degrees and mostly cloudy and uh, just kind of blah out. But doesn't take much to turn a blah afternoon into something spectacular so uh, hopefully something like that will happen but if it doesn't that's cool too I'm just kind of out here to start getting back in the swing of things a little bit so uh, that's the update I'll let you know if I find anything out here at all I'm gonna be not very picky about what I'm photographing uh, today and just hopefully find something to get the camera out make a few images and um, just do the best I can with what presents itself out here today in the limited time I've got available. So, anyway, thanks for tagging along, and hopefully we get to actually make a video today. I'll uh, talk to you in a little bit. Bye. back. Uh, I found some moose about a thousand yards away. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go walk out there. Um, I could see a moose. It's a bull moose, but it's a small bull moose. And this time of year when you find a bull moose, you're almost always going to find multiple bull moose. 
Uh, so maybe there are some other ones bedded down or in the kind of the trees, the river bottom near this moose that I could see with my binoculars. But um, I feel like I just want to get out, walk, get the camera out. Uh, I'm going to like, maybe one of the big, our big Teton bulls is there and I can't see him. But if not, I'm just going to take some pictures of the small boosts, small moose, which normally I just kind of pass on the small moose. I like to uh, photograph the bigger impressive bulls, but that's not what I'm after today. So uh, I'm gonna go for a walk. It looks like about a thousand yards through the sagebrush and I just realized, check this out, I forgot my hiking boots. So today my hiking boots are Vans. That's right. Could present a bit of a challenge out there in the sagebrush, but that's what I'm doing because I forgot my hiking boots. So I'm gonna be bringing the Z9 with the 4028 on it and the Z8 with the Tamron 35 to 150, F2 to F2.8. And uh, so that'll be my like wide angle kind of environmental lens. And then the 4028 is obviously the telephoto lens. So I'm going out there with those two pieces of equipment. I'll bring a monopod. I'll bring the GoPro so I can vlog and uh, that's about it we're down jacket because it's cold it's now down to 39 degrees there is a light breeze uh, so yeah it's gonna be brisk out there but I'm actually looking forward to going and getting my eyes on some moose maybe I'll get lucky with a big one but otherwise I'm gonna do my absolute best to make the best pictures I can of the small moose no biggie so um, I'm gonna gear up, start walking, and then I'll check in with you again on the um, the other GoPro. See you later. What's up? So that uh, moose was up the ridge here somewhere. I'm just popping up. I've been walking for a while. I lost him. So wherever he was, he is no longer here. Which is fine, he's probably moved over the ridge down into the uh, river bottom. Which has potential for more interesting scenery anyways so I guess I'll go back down start looking in the river bottoms for him. Whoa. So far the vans are decidedly mediocre. The big problem is going to be when I need to cross the creek. because my feet are just gonna get immediately cold and wet and in like 39 degrees and windy, they will get cold real quick. Uh, and I don't believe there's gonna be a way to cross this creek and stay dry. So I think I'm just gonna be out of luck on that one. But that's a whole lot of presuming that I'm gonna find a moose and have a reason to cross the creek, so I won't worry about it at the moment. I will worry about finding that moose and or his buddies. So I will carry on in the vans. So uh, I foreshadowed the um, wet feet situation because look, here we have moose. One, two, three, four of them. A uh, small bull, cow, medium bull, medium bull. 
So it was worth getting my feet wet to cross the creek and see what I can come up with over here. I'm looking around to see if there's any others. Uh, so one super nice thing about finding that not the big giant bulls of the Tetons is that there's no crowd here. I'm the only person here. And if this was like Hoback or Fremont, one of our big like stud well-known bulls, there'd be a crowd of people with them. And we're getting a little bit of light too. I don't think it's gonna last very long. Um, <clears throat> but I got four, four moose in good light, interesting light. So I'm gonna try and make a few photos here uh, before my, once my feet get really cold, I don't know how long that'll take, maybe an hour, I'll get out of here. But uh, I like it. Now, being all alone out here is great because I can move around and change, not worry about other people, not worry about me getting in their way, not them being in my way. Uh, and I'm responsible for my own safety out here, so I gotta keep my eyes open. And uh, the rules here in Grand Teton National Park are that you need to stay 25 yards away from moose, uh, which is no problem. Um, but these moose are used to seeing people. So, you know, I'm here I am, they're just grazing. You know, they're just hanging out. Um, they looked at me, so they know I'm here, they know I'm a human. And uh, it's no problem. So I'm getting uh, no signals from them that they're uncomfortable. I mean, I'm talking, they can hear me. Uh, they just don't care. As long as I don't do anything dumb and give them the space that they want and need, I'll be good to go here. Like I said, I, w I wish, you know, I'd find one of the big studs of the Tetons, but I didn't find one and I'm gonna do my best, the best that I can with these guys in the uh, limited time I have available. So uh, anyway, here we go. Photo time. This guy right here, he's the biggest of the group. And then the second biggest is that one. And then the cow and the smallest bull are over there. So I'm gonna put most of my energy at the moment on these two, um, just cause they're the, they're the biggest bulls. And I'll see if any of the other ones give me a better opportunity for like the mountains behind them or the light being better or the background being better, whatever. I'll kind of be moving around here looking for the best opportunity that I can find. But I'm gonna try and get the, the two bigger bulls um, right out of the gate here. All right, and we're off. There we go. The Grand Teton's starting to come out a little bit. All right, I'm on it. Let's go. I'm waiting. Man, that light's nice. Uh, I'm waiting for that moose to come over the ridge a little bit, hopefully. And, uh, oh, well, right there, oh, like that. Oh, I missed it. Had like a one second photo up there. But if he moves just an, even another five feet, uh, it'll be really sweet. And I'll just have this cool cloud behind him. And the light is really nice right now. I don't think it's gonna last very long, but it's really close to being a cool shot here. Patience, grasshopper.
That was super cool. Uh, the biggest of the four moose here, he bedded down. And, uh, well, not gonna be able to see him. The smallest is visible there. I can't see because the sun's right in my face. But you can probably see him there, about 40 yards away or so. Uh, there's still another moose up over this ridge. So I'm gonna creep up slowly here and uh, see what he's up to out here. But the light was lovely. Uh, that moose, the biggest of the moose, was quite cooperative. He did come right over that ridge, just like I wanted. He gave me some beautiful portrait opportunities uh, and even a pretty nice wide angle composition there with the 35 to 150 um, and some of the gnarly cottonwood trees. So boy, uh, I'm really happy with how that all worked out this evening. And man, is it just nice to be out here too. Just gorgeous. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna just poke around here just for a few more minutes. I think it's over. The, the biggest of the moose there just bedded down and the light is going away momentarily. Uh, oh, here's that other moose. Let's go check him out. So he's pretty close. Well, he's like 50 yards away, but he's still up wandering around. <clears throat> Right there. Yup. Hi. And then there's the bedded down moose down there. Yep. So, really wonderful evening. And uh, mission was to just get out and use the camera, try and get back in the swing of things. And uh, it worked out great. They uh, gave me some really nice opportunities and some really mediocre opportunities, but it was great just to start shooting again, get back in the rhythm, and to be all alone out here with some moose. I actually, let me see if I can do anything with this real quick. The light's really sweet right there. Uh, the background on those cottonwoods looks nice. He's in a little bit of shade right now. Um, I'm going to put this down and just hang in here for a minute and see if I can get anything out of this and I'll be right back. All right, nothing seemed to happen there. Moose is just chilling there. Uh, so I'm going to head back to the car. The light is so lovely. Uh, but I'm leaving. So anyway, uh, you know, I'm just doing the same thing. Oh, of course, he just bedded down while I'm sitting here. So it's over, over. Um, but I'm just doing the same thing I'm always doing out here, and that's looking for interesting backgrounds, looking for interesting moments. Uh, I'm shooting wide open here almost all the time just to, to blow out the backgrounds and really make the subject pop. Uh, and in these cluttery kind of environments with all these trees and stuff, sometimes, you know, you want to include that stuff. Um, I generally don't. And so even when I was shooting that wide stuff, uh, with the 35 to 150, I was still shooting it wide open there. Uh, and there's just enough depth of field at those wider angles that you still get enough definition in the, in the environment. But you also still get a little bit of separation from that environment. So, um, you know, that's a personal aesthetic and a personal style and a preference. Um, that's the way I'm out here shooting today. And uh, I was just looking for those little moments where there's a twinkle in the eye or a funny glance. Uh, the you know a background that's particularly clean or one that's kind of nice with the clouds behind it um, and just kind of moving around you know the moose are totally comfortable with me being here so I was able to move around and get the light where I wanted it and get you know the background where I wanted it uh, and that's super important to, uh, to just get out here and move around and when I don't have crowds like all fall, you know, there'd be 50 photographers surrounding these moose and it's a nightmare out here because you're getting in people's way, people are getting in your way, people are fighting, yelling at each other. So when you have these opportunities where you're alone um, and the animals cooperating, move around, you know, try different backgrounds, try different light, you know, backlit, frontlit, sidelit, all those things. And uh, just try not to get stuck in one spot. So get the shot and then move around and get something different. So, uh, 
that, that was kind of my thought process out here today. And other than that, my thought process was have a good time because it's been a while since I've been out and I've really missed it. And I just love being out here. So uh, that's that was my thought process. Have a great time. Do your best to make some interesting photos. And I just realized that shadow has been in my face the whole time. That's so obnoxious. I apologize for that. I should have been more like this. Sorry about that. I should do a better job at my videography. But I'm a photographer, not a videographer. Anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, I appreciate the support. Uh, I did open up my workshop season for this spring and next fall. Uh, I opened up all the dates that are going to be available. So if you do want to join me on one of those, now's the best time to do that because uh, I start to fill up and things get really limited uh, as time goes on. So grab one of those if you can. Uh, maybe grab a, a hat, like a 600 millimeters and be there hat or a bugle fog t-shirt, something like that. Um, what else? I don't know, a print. Christmas is coming, you know. So grab something for somebody, grab yourself a little gift and uh, help support the channel. And beyond that, hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Take care. The Z9 with the 402.8 strikes again. I love that thing.